Hi, I'm here with Lady Saints head basketball coach Todd Chiquetto and freshman Aliana Cologne. How are you guys doing today? Great. I'm good. good. Okay, you guys are coming off a big win against Cloud County. Um, coach, talk a little bit about that game. Well, we played well, and I think that's the first time we can say we played well for almost the whole game. I think we had some lulls to start the third quarter, start the fourth quarter. But it's kind of nice being able to put five new people in. It's the first time we be able to do that in a while. But we out-rebounded them by nine, and they're the top rebounding team in the country. Um, like I said, I, I think we have the potential to be a great rebounding team. We're athletic. Um, we just had to figure out how to compete on every single loose ball and get position. But, um, again, that was the biggest thing for me. We rebounded well. Um, team sort of seemed to go, see, have a lot of energy, and they started off really quick. We uh, talked a little about that um, in, in previous games. Is that you know getting off to a fast start was really important, and you guys did that, and you guys sort of seemed to you know continue out throughout the entire game. Maybe if there was like you sort of said a couple of lulls here and there, but never guys, you guys didn't lose the control of something. You guys had really had it with you all the game. I thought. Yeah, I think defensively we were good on our press. We we're in the right spots. We turned them over quite a bit. I think Dierra gave some energy starting. She played the first minute and a half. I just think that gave them some confidence, you know. And I don't think Dierra played awesome, but Dierra played well. Mm -hmm. And I think it just put everybody else in their right spots, and they got confident, and she gave them a little boost. Um, and I think that carried all through the rest of the game. Yeah, one of the things that we had talked about is getting the players, playing together, adding on the pieces, and, you know, even when you have, you know, starters who are out or they're not playing as well as they should be, you've got – um, the bench and players, you know, stepping up. And one of these players here is with is Allie Colon. Um, she's been playing really well. She's been hitting a lot of the outside threes. What are you seeing her as her game coming up? Well, she's good. She's a good basketball player now. And I think I played her three minutes in the first half. She played the late night, but I looked at her at halftime. I think I scared her because I said, you didn't play enough. And she, I didn't think she was sorry. And I said, no, it's my fault. She played you more. And then she came in the second half, hit a couple of big threes, and we have a lull. But I think if you look at her three point percent, I'm not sure what it is, but it's well over 40%. Um, and lately, it's probably 50 to 60%. So that's kind of shooter she is. She's one of the two people on our team that have the green, green light. Mm -hmm. And it took her a while to figure that out, what that meant. But, you know, she's actually playing defense too now. And she, and she'll tell you, she had no clue how to play defense in a man-to-man -man situation, but up until probably our Christmas break. Ellie, how do you think you've played so far? And you definitely have stuff. You've seen a lot more playing time coming in. Um, how has this um, this second half of the season been for you? Um, it's been really great, like just seeing my own like growth and like development. I still can't believe like where I'm at and like where I was, and you know, I just I can always get better, you know, mm -hmm. but. It's been it's been going really good. Has what's been the difference for you seeing since your freshman seeing the high school game to the college game? Oh my God, everything. <laughs> like high school, it was all just like I don't know, like just it wasn't really offense and defense. It was just kind of like jogging up and down the court and trying to put a <laughs> like a ball in the basket. And then like college, it's all just like grasping like concepts and like you know actually like putting it all together, like IQ and like the physical parts of it, it's been hard, but you know, I like a challenge and you know, it, it's it's cool to like see the difference in like the levels. And so you've just been sort of growing and sort of building yourself up at each game. So talk, talk about your shooting, you know, Coach says that you have the green light to go over there. Did you, has it sort of been hard to sort of find the confidence to hit that three and now suddenly you've hit it, you're sort of a little more confident with that? Yeah, especially like when my teammates like get me going, like I'll see like Lima hit a couple and like D and then I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I could hit some. And then like the energy just like transfers on. But um, before my shot was like really bad. I still hesitate sometimes. But coaches helped me like get rid of it, so like it's a lot more smooth. But yeah, I don't know. The confidence is kind of like a team effort. Like when we're all doing good, you know, I feel good. So, so coach, okay, so the team is sort of is starting to get back healthy again. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the last piece coming in will be Kylie, but you probably won't have her for a couple of weeks, probably give or take, depending. Mm -hmm. But you never know with these kids. Mm -hmm. But the team seems <laughs> to be sort of gelling. Um, you know, we always look at injuries, and you know, it, it was really easy for us to sort of go and say, "Oh, this team's horrible," because we had, you know, you know, because we lost, we lost games, and I think a lot of teams sometimes just sort of judge. However, you know, the team has really sort of seemed to mesh, and there was a lot of um, silver linings to this because you got a lot to play a lot of different players, and you got to basically played those without them, and now, 
you were sort of, like I said, with Al, you sort of reaping the benefits. Yeah, if you look at our games, though, we were in every game. We had chances in every game, mm -hmm. and that's with all freshmen playing almost, and then people playing out of position like Shanti, who did a great job. But they grew, and I will tell, she'll tell you, I was hard on her. Mm -hmm. I was hard on her first semester, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I told everybody that would listen, by January she's going to be a good player. Mm -hmm. And she talks about confidence when, when, she, when we're having – uh, making shots. She's making shots. She's doing, th I don't even think she understands, she's actually getting us out of slumps right now by hitting shots because she's playing the five for us. The five can't guard her. Mm -hmm. So that's huge for us. I think she's the one that's giving her other kids confidence and she doesn't even know that. So. Are you thinking that's right? Maybe a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I mean, obviously, you know, growing, growing experiences for this team and obviously, you know, if the team's playing as well as now without, you know, like we said, and they're finally gelling the future. You, go, you said before, you think we're the best team in the conference going in. And I think that, well, if you guys play as well as you have been with athletes, and now that you added uh, Diara coming in, you know, and then Kylie, and then, of course, the other players finally getting a little bit more healthy, you know, everyone sort of seems you guys are going to be, you know, rolling at the right time or peaking at the right time. Yeah, and I say we're the best team. I truly believe that. Mm -hmm. um, I think they know I believe that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's good teams in our conference. We can lose to just about anybody. Mm -hmm. But if we defend like we played, defended the other night, mm -hmm. we get Kylie back, and she's probably our best defender. Mm -hmm. um, we move the ball. We're starting to move the ball. Bree is figuring out how to play. Um, mm -hmm. And then just she so, has such a high motor. Adiana, Aliana, Kiki, Tiana's playing well. Like, so that's all freshmen I named. They're playing great basketball. Naomi's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. I mean, she started four or five games for us. So. I just, I just think people are starting to see now that, okay, there's a huge gap in our first five and everybody else, and I think it's really tightened up. And it's not because our first five's gotten worse. They've gotten better, but our second five, well, second five now, yeah, and it's soon to be six, have really picked it up and got really close to being at that level. And they're in their roles now, so they can actually thrive in their roles, and then, but their roles are a lot bigger than before because they can do more stuff. Right, I and I truly think we're the best team. I really do. Right, and one of the things is that everyone's contributing. I think that it's one thing that you sort of said before is that now, now they've gotten a taste of how to contribute and add them and actually play in big spots. Now if they come to the bench and you guys need them in the big spot, they're ready. Yeah, and I demand they do things right. I demand they do things hard, and mm -hmm. that's different than some of the high schools they came from. So was it hard on them? Sure, but I think they saw that they were getting better. At times it's hard to see that until you look back at film, and I'm, I still don't think we're where we're going to be in a week or two. I really, really don't, but we're so much better than we were, and there's not a part of the game that we shouldn't be really good at, and that's the difference between us and other teams. We can play different styles. We can go inside. We can shoot threes. We can press. We can play half court. So I, I think we can do more things than our team, and we have more players that can do other things. I think, I think that's why we're the best team. No disrespect to the conference, but I'll take this team over anyone. Okay. The Lady Saints host the independent, host independence um, on Saturday at the greenhouse at 2 o'clock. It's an afternoon game. Um, talk a little bit about how you guys are going to play uh, independence and what you expect from them. Now, independence, they're 7-9 and nine in conference, but they're good. Mm -hmm. They're good. They have fast little guards. They kind of match some athleticism in our first five, which is unusual. Um, they don't shoot it well. They have one of the best post players undersized uh, in Ojeda. She's one of the best post players in the conference. She can do a lot. Again, I think they have trouble guarding us, and they know they zone us a lot. And I think we have some really good zone stuff in, and this is one of them right here. Um, I just think when we're, we're starting to take the right shots, and when we take the right shots, we're really difficult to guard. And, you know, they're going to give us a challenge. They're not going to quit. They'll get after us, our guards. Without Kylie, it's, I mean, we still are lacking a ball handle, but we're good enough with who we have. And it'll be a good game, and, and they bring energy, and obviously they're well coached. As long as the team sort of plays as well as you guys have been from start to finish, and just probably you guys should be very incredibly competitive, right? Yeah, if we, if we play like we can, we're going to win the game. Uh, I just we're, we're deeper, we're bigger, um, but they're a good basketball team. They're a very good basketball team. I think they're a lot better than other – like us, I think they're a lot better than people think they are because of their record. They've gotten better, and they're talented. Okay. Again, Lady Saints play Independence at 2 o'clock at the Greenhouse. Come on out. Allie, you are from El Paso, Texas, right? Yes, sir. And you've come out here to liberal Kansas, southwest Kansas. How's been the transition been for you out over here? Um, it's been kind of hard, but like, I don't know, I think I've adjusted well just because we really don't have time outside of basketball. Because mm -hmm. like, if we did have a lot of free time, I think I'd be going a little bit crazy <laughs> just because like, so small out here. But 
it's fun. I like the 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 change. Mm -hmm. But you got a lot of friends and some teammates, right? Yeah, so they they're keep awesome. Your sanity, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Ali, anyone that you want to give a shout out to? Oh, uh, my family back home, my friends, my teammates, my coach. Tell your family to come to a game. Come to a game. <laughs> well, they can come out tomorrow, right? At the uh, Greenhouse, 2 p.m., Get Independent. And um, guys, good luck, um, and we'll see you at the Greenhouse tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.